the government's working on another registry. This time, it's not for these. No, it's for these. Stephen Guibo, the Minister of Climate Change in Canada, has not given up on his plastics ban. No, in fact, if you look back, it hasn't been very long, but the federal court overturned their single-use plastic ban. In fact, they cited that it, it, it just had it wasn't sensible. Uh, the federal court overturned Canada's ban on single-use plastics uh, just a few months ago, deeming the policy was unreasonable and unconstitutional. The decision found that the classification on plastics in the cabinet order was too broad to be listed on the list of toxic substances in Schedule 1, and the government acted outside of its authority. Yeah, well, this <laughs> that's kind of a par for the course for Trudeau's government here. There is no reasonable apprehension that all listed plastic manufactured items are harmful, the decision read. Well, that didn't put a stop to what they wanted to do, and this is an announcement that just came just the other day. Today's Earth Day, which is this year's theme, Planet versus Plastic, calling on us for an ambitious change by 2040. Canada's working hard to walk the walk on plastic waste reduction. We helped to launch the Ocean Plastic Charter during Canada's 2018 G7 presidency. We introduced a domestic ban on harmful single-use plastics. Which was overturned because it was unconstitutional and it was illogical. We're implementing a comprehensive plan to reduce plastic waste and pollution. And today, I'm excited to announce a new federal plastic registry, which will increase transparency and help make producers responsible. When he says increased transparency, it has nothing to do with government transparency. I'll uh, assure you of that. But the memes are going around. Of course, uh, no to the foreign lobbyist <laughs> registry. We don't want that kind of registry because uh, that might benefit uh, other parties in Canada. But perhaps the plastic straw registry. Let's get that one going. Absolutely. Now, what does this have... And how is this going to play out is the real question. So this is from the government of Canada. The government of Canada requires producers to take more responsibility for the plastic they put in the market. Uh, the Federal Plastics Registry. The Federal Plastic Registry will require companies, including resin manufacturer services and providers and producers of plastic products, to report annually on the quantity and types of plastic they manufacture, import, and place on the market. Producers of plastic products and services providers will also be required to report on the quantity of plastic collected and diverted, reused, repaired, remanufactured, refurbished, recycled, processed into chemicals, composited, incinerated, and landfilled. They will also be required to report on the amount of plastic waste generated on their industrial commercial and institutional premises. The Federal Plastics Registry will provide Canadians, including innovators and decision makers, with a reliable data that will identify opportunities for further action to reduce plastic waste and pollution, as well as help monitor progress over time. So what's going to happen is going to cost you a lot of money is what's going to happen. This is going to cost more to the to the industry, which in turn is going to cost more to the average consumer. Welcome to Canada, where everything is going up in price, regardless of if you want it or not. It's the government is just making that happen at every single level. It's unbelievable. And here's an article from uh, True North talking about this, the Feds launch plastic registry requiring businesses to report annual plastic usage, but also what happens to it after the fact. Again, this is probably going to get challenged in a court of law because it's not up to the manufacturer when they've relinquished the product to the to the consumer base to follow up and know what happens to it afterwards. That's the responsibility responsibility of the people that own it. And they're trying to put the onus on the manufacturer at that level. And it's just, it's absurd on its face. But here we go, here we go again, the government being absurd. The federal government is taking aim at plastic with a federal registry that will require some companies to regularly, uh, regularly report their plastic production and importation. 
<laughs> so even from foreign countries. Environment Minister Stephen Guibault made an announcement during his kickoff of the United Nations Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee on Monday. They seem to be more interested in the whole intergovernmental thing than just governing and representing the people of this country here in Canada. Uh, because, well, we know that they're not, they're not representing our interests, especially when these things kept getting overturned. Delegates and representatives from around the world are meeting in Ottawa to, this week to develop an internationally binding agreement on plastic pollution by the end of the year. Interesting that, binding international. Okay, we'll get back to that. Uh, the United Nations Environmental Environment Program, spelled with an MME, is responsible for organizing the meetings. I'm determined, said Guibault, I know that we'll forge a historic milestone to end plastic pollution. Now, we're talking about global solutions here. Does that apply to everyone in these, this whole global thing? Well, here's a clip from uh, Ezra Levant on Twitter where he followed Gibo and he asked him some serious questions. Um, I'm going to show a short clip, but of course the link will be in the description down below. Hey, you're on the board of a Chinese agency, a Chinese government agency for the environment. How is that not a conflict of interest, given that you're Absolutely in the Canadian is. cabinet? Is that why you never criticize China, the world's largest producer of plastic? Now, this is where it's interesting because China is the largest producer of plastics. So this onus is supposed to be on the manufacturers. Now, listen to this. Staff pulling at me. Why are they assaulting me, sir? Why don't you ever criticize China? Have you received help from China in your political campaigns, too? China refuses to sign the anti-plastics treaty. Why are you forcing that on Canadians? <laughs> There's the point right there. So China is not on board with this. Guibo is uh, is part of a, a board in China, which is a complete uh, conflict of interest. But there's no no strangers to conflict of interest. The Liberal Party, especially with uh, the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada sitting on the World Economic Board Forum uh, Board of Trustees. This is the reality that we face here in Canada. But it looks as though China will be off the hook again, once again, when it comes to the global issue. The biggest manufacturer of China of products, plastic products, is not on the docket when it comes to this. They're not going to be part of the registry. It's only going to be Canadian uh, importers that once they've imported those uh, products, again, putting it on Canadian businesses to pay this and uh, the consumers to pay it as well. Impoverishing Canadians, again, uh, you know, China is left out of the whole uh, agreements on carbon reduction. Uh, of course, they're bringing in, I, I can't remember how many new coal plants per day to run their industry over in China, but I digress. Anyway, I'll leave that one with you guys. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this whole plastics. Uh, I mean, the plastics ban has been overturned. I mean, I live here in British Columbia. We still don't have plastic bags at our stores back because they're anticipating, well, there's going to be this new registry. Then it's just going to do the same thing. And then what, what, what's the term now? Ultra vires? We've been learning this uh, legal lingo, which means uh, outside of the con the context of the law that they're outside of their purview of the law. So here we go. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.